Hello, 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 hello. It's Kate Bolt, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK for another Coffee of Cards Live. Hello, hello, hello. Just bear with me one moment while I get my camera set up well so that we have a good shot of what we're doing. I'm back for another paper crafting live session. I do love a Tuesday afternoon when I get to hang out and craft. I will just, hang on, let's readjust. How is that? It's looking okay. I'm not completely convinced. I'm going to take the stamp set away because of the glare. That's kind of annoying. That's from my added light. Hmm. I think that's a bit far away. That looks a bit better, although it's not very straight. <laughs> there we go anyway welcome whoever's watching do say hello to me let me know where you're watching from i love to know where you're all coming from where you're all hanging out um do hello say hello because it means that i can see if the comments are working on the live also because sometimes i have a little bit of a problem seeing comments on the live i'm just going to pop on my laptop next to me so that i can see the comments if they're not coming through on my camera let's just have a little looky see shall we can't believe it's tuesday again how did that happen how did that happen no idea so the weeks go by so fast. All right, let's refresh the page and see what I can see. Ooh, yay, I can see my live. Let's click on it. Oops, it's at page four. Live. Right, take the volume off. And now I can see if anybody leaves me a comment, I should be able to see you. Hello, 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 and welcome. So I have just been out and about um, which is why I was a couple of minutes late coming on live. So I do apologise for that. I'm here on a Tuesday at one o'clock in the afternoon for coffee and cards every week. Um, yeah, so I was out dropping my lovely husband to the garage to pick up his car. So racing back for coffee and cards. So I have a bit of an impromptu card for you this afternoon because I haven't been able to prep anything. It's been super, super busy, but I have a really good idea of what I'm going to make with you. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous stamp set, and I've been using it a little bit lately. It's called the Splendid Thoughts Stamp Set. It's got a lovely die set that goes with it and papers and all sorts. I'm just going to be using the stamps and the dies today, I think. I think that's all I'm going to be using. It's very, very pretty. I made a ton of projects with this um, suite, with the Splendid Day suite. So um, I will get around to writing a blog post shortly and putting all the projects in there. So if you're tempted by this, you can find it in my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. So if you've seen it and used and you'd like it and you want to get it, when you hop over to that blog post, hopefully you get loads of inspiration to play with it with. Let's have a look. So... This is what inspired me. Now, a few weeks ago, Stampin' Up! held an event for us demonstrators. Um, it's called Creativity Now, and it was a creativity event. So this was just a creative event for us to come and play, make projects, and have some creative fun. No, like, business or training talk. It was just some fun creativity. And we used this suite. And this is one of the cards we made with it. Very simple, using our Stampin' Blend pens to create this background. Use some of the stamps and uh, some of the foliage using the dies, some of the gorgeous soft sea foam ribbon that's in the suite. And this was the card we made, very easy. And then last night on my team meeting, I had a team meeting with my lovely team last night. I hold one every month on Zoom and we make something fun. I decided to recreate it because none of my team attended to that event on that Saturday. So I thought, well, don't want them to miss out. So they all played with it last night and made this card. And I sent them all a little make and take pack in the post. And it's got all this beautiful foil designer series paper in it that is from the suite. And we recreated this card. As you can see, it's slightly different size. Hi, Lily. I'm glad you're watching me. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. And I'm so glad you're there. Um, but what I've used for this one to make it really easy and simple is, can you see how pretty these envelopes are? They're all made and they match 
the kind of designs in the Splendid Day Suite. They match the papers. Well, these are free note cards and envelopes that come in Celebration. Celebration is a promotion we've got running on this month and next month. And for every £45 spend in my online shop, you get free items. And this is one of them. Um, and they are pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. And you literally get 20. So you get 20 of the note cards in these two different colours. Like that. And then you get 20 of the beautiful envelopes. So they're all pre-cut and scored. And they have this gorgeous design already. And they're really thick. And they, they're printed inside. They're really nice quality. So I thought we'd use these today. So you can see how to use those or an idea. And I kind of thought about the card I made with my team last night and I thought, well, I might just build on it a little bit. Different card, same note cards and envelopes, same suite. So let's have a little looky. So I've chosen one of the note cards. I've chosen a different design this time. So this one I used last night and this one I'm using today. Hi, Amy. You're watching from the US. Thank you for joining me. That's brilliant. What time is it with you? I don't know. It's, uh, I tell you, it was uh, 10 past one here in the afternoon. So I haven't got this card planned at all, but I hope you'll forgive me. Um, I just pulled some things out from my stash that I thought might go with it. So with this suite, I went with the mint and I went with the soft sea foam because these note cards come in those colours. I went with the Calypso Coral because that's part of the sweets colours. Um, I got a few bits of white. It's 10 past 7 in the morning. Oh, that's dedication. Thank you for joining me. I've got a scrap of uh, soft seafoam cardstock. I pulled out some vellum to play with. Um, I have got a piece of um, Calypso Coral card also. So I thought I would just create something, have a bit of fun and see what I come up with. So let's have a go now. I've got some white and I'm going to stamp the stamp on it and cut it out with a die. So first of all, I think I'm going to do this big, big one, this big, big image. Just grab a block that will fit it. That's a massive block, but that will do. That will work. Oh, this is, this is crafting on your feet, this is. Oh, I wonder if I should move this back slightly. There we go. So, Calypso Coral. It's a gorgeous colour. It's very, very summery. And I'm going to stamp my leaf, not in green, but in Calypso. Oh, look how vibrant is that? That's gorgeous. Right, so I've stamped that one. And I think I'm going to grab the die set, which I didn't get out ready. Let's grab it. Splendid dies. Dropped something on the floor. There we go. Splendid dies stems. Oh, there's an odd one that I've already cut out that I might use. I might to use that. Do you ever keep the odd die shapes that you cut out extra? I do. I have a little bowl of them normally. <clears throat> so these are the lovely dies that go with this stamp set. Now, ladies, I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> my crafty dog, I call him my crafty dog because he likes to craft with me. He likes to be in the craft room while I'm live. He's in here with me. Because he comes in as soon as I turn the camera on. He's now looking at me and wagging his tail to go out because my husband's making lunch and he thinks he's going to get a treat. So I'm going to have to let him out, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're interesting, the lovely lady. Go on. Oh, you can bet your bottom dollar, though, in two minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, he'll be back in the door. So as you can see, these dies are great because they cut out the stamps. We've got a little B. We've got a little B. We've got this big one that we did. You've been helping out your husband sorting out the car key. Cloudy, coolish, 26 degrees in Spain. Oh, 26 degrees. It's only about 18 or 19 here. We're not having that warmer weather, Amanda. Although we have got some beautiful weather forecasts for the weekend. It's going to be 26 and sunny and hot here on the weekend. 
Ah, do you know what? These car keys can be a right pain to sort out, can't they? And they can be quite an expensive job too. I hope you've got it sorted. So the main images you've got the dies for, and then you've got these lovely ones to fill them in with. And then you've got four beautiful sentiments. And you've got all these standalone dies to add foliage in your different colours. And this one, this one I've seen used as a bowl for your plants and all sorts of things. So I'm going to use this one to start with. And now the dog's let himself back in, which is what he does, which is fine. But he leaves the door open. He doesn't have very good manners, you know. Shut the door open. Okay, so I've got my little mini boss. Here it is. You bought the battery, but the paper on it was stuck. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. You know, all these things, they are sent to try us, aren't they not? Honestly. Right, scissors. I'm gonna make this a smaller piece so it will fit in my mini boss. So I love this little thing. It sits on my desk. It's perfect for lives. It's perfect for keeping on my desk. Whereas the big, big uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine, which takes the larger dice is behind me on my little trolley and is super useful. But this is so handy. It is just there whenever I want it. And it takes most of the dies. And of course, I can take it out with me to classes and anything else, craftiness, I want. Yeah. Of washi tape because I like to use washi tape. <laughs> Amanda, your dogs also open the doors and leave them open, so you've got an auto closer for the winter. Well, that's a good idea. I didn't know there was such a thing. I am learning all about these things because the other weekend when I was at the um, my wider team big event, I learned about an, a microchipped cat bowl of all things. I was complaining about my cat's bowl in it, you know, all the horrible food. And they said, oh, well, you need one that responds to the microchip so that, yeah, it opens when they come along. And this is a revelation. Hello, Hazel. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Yeah, so this, I still haven't got one of these things or investigated it further, but that will be something I imagine that I would love. Right. All this technology for pets is amazing. <laughs> there we go. We've cut it out so I can move my mini boss out of the way. I'll probably do some more in a minute. I haven't quite decided what we're putting on this card yet. So, okay, we have got that one. We have got this one. I can take this die off so I don't lose it. We don't want to do that. Okay, good. Now, I thought I'd put a piece of vellum on and I'd cut it. I don't know. I'm just going to put a rectangle in the middle of my card. I'm just going to do it by eye and then see where we get. So I made a little thumbnail in where I want it to go to. Grab my trimmer. And I'll tell you the size so that you can make it yourself if you'd like to. <laughs> Okay, so we have got to about, oh, I can't see what I'm doing, so make that, we get eight and a half centimetres so that we've got a nice round number, like that. Show it up to my card, nice. Have another go at that. See, this is this is technical measuring, isn't it? <laughs> Make a little mark on your vellum. You can see where you want it to go by 11. So round it to the nearest one. So I've got eight and a half centimetres by 11 centimetres. Keep those pieces of vellum. They're always super useful. Okay, so a bit of vellum on this gorgeous note card in front. And then I think we're just going to have these on the front of here. And this here. Pop that 
cut behind like so nice and then that die we had I might try and stamp on it I don't know this one and I might make another die cut out of a different colour with that one but let's just die cut this out actually let's stamp first I think I'm going to stamp what colour is this pool party mint macaron I think I needed pool party not mint macaron pool party I doing? Here we go. Pool party is the colour of that card. So let's grab a sentiment. We have sending hugs. Today is a day to remember. Much love in your... Oh, this is going to be... I won't use this one today, but this is a great one. You could actually just do much love at the top and then down the bottom you could put in your new life together, couldn't you? Have I not used that stamp? I don't think I've used this middle stamp yet. So mm, I've used Let's Celebrate a lot, sending hugs. I think I'll use Let's Celebrate because I could use that for any pretty much occasion like birthday or anniversary or congratulations or something. Because I like to have a card made that I can use. You're just, oh, Hazel, are you waiting for your stamp enough order with your tea boutique suite in it? Stunning, absolutely stunning. I might have the cards I made for a class handy somewhere close by. If I do, I'll show you what I made. We did a class a couple of months ago with the Tea Boutique Suite. Right, I'm going to stamp this and see how it comes out. Oh, look at that. Celebrate. I don't need that piece of card right now. That's that one. Right, this die, this funny looking die that looks meant to be like a plant bowl. Or, I mean, you could put anything coming out of this bowl. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut that one out as well. That was stupid because I meant to go over that. Yes, let's stamp that again and not be so ridiculous. Ridiculous. Does anybody else do daft things? Or am I the only daft one? <laughs> it's okay, you can answer that. <laughs> oh, so yeah, let's go do this. Nice. Let's bring the mini boss back in and then I might actually or something else. You can't do any card making at the moment, Hazel. You So you do some cross stitching because you can sit in the armchair with the TV on in the background. You know that sounds perfect. Anything you can do with your hands to keep you busy whilst, you know, if, you, if you're kind of stuck inside watching TV or you can't move around or do very much, it's all good. Keeps us sane, I think. Anyway, I like um, I like a bit of crochet. I love to crochet. I don't do it very often. Absolutely love it when I do. I've got a nice blanket going on. Right, let's celebrate. I think we're all uh, all us crafters are into multiple crafts. To be fair, here we go. If you're in my craft Facebook group, I've got a Facebook group called Ink Stamp Share Your Craft. If you're in that, I'd love to see what you're making, ladies. Pop your makes in there. It doesn't have to be paper crafting. It can be any kind of crafting you like. The only thing I do ask is if you ask to join, you answer the questions to get into the group. It's just to make sure everyone's legit and nice <laughs> is the only reason for it. But if you don't answer the questions, I won't. you won't be admitted. That's the only thing. Um... Yeah, and no pages to join. Joy, just join as your own self. It's just for our fun. So, but it's a nice little group and you can post all your crafty creations in there. So I think we've got Let's Celebrate in the Bowl. And I think I'm going to use this one to cut out. Now, this is a bit of a scrappy piece. I know it looks like a big piece of um, cardstock, but I've left it in the sun. 
um, on a shelf right near the window, which was a bit silly because it started to fade. So I'm using that bit up. Let's bring this one in. I'm going to die cut another piece of foliage just to make that pop a little bit, the Calypso coral. It's just a simple card using a bit of vellum to add some texture. Sorry, I need to hold it. I'm just very aware that you've got my hand right in the shot. It's not very, not, not nice to look at. There we are. Right, that should be all that die cutting for that card. just grabbing my take your pick tool i couldn't survive without this thing if you haven't got one of these i'm telling you you need one of these so take your pick tool and i use mine all the time you've probably seen it's so useful and the reason it's called take your pick is you can take your pick of what you use it for because you've got this one You've got a little spatula end, you've got the putty end, and then there's a rollerball one that fits with two different ends on there, and then you can optionally purchase a brush end for your dies. Super useful and quite affordable. Right, so we've got all our pieces, and we're gonna, we are going to just put it together and see what we come up with. Yes, just a bit of fun. So what we're going to do first is assemble this piece. And I think I'm going to use my snail to go along the bottom of my bowl just to anchor it into place. But I'm going to leave this top piece free so that I can tuck my leaves in. The flat bit. Ah, now I don't. It depends. I don't use my flat bit very often, Amanda, but it depends, you see, um, this piece. Now, it depends. I did used to have a special electric die cutting machine that I don't use anymore, but it would have been useful for getting those pieces off the plastic sticky thing. I suppose it's useful for getting anything off or glue or answers on a postcard because I don't use mine either, but I know crafters do use them. Let me know if anybody knows the thing that they mostly use this spatula end for. Um, it might be for mixed media. It could be for all sorts. But let me know in the comments down below if anyone's got one, what you use your spatula end for. Because that would be useful to know. Right, I'm going to grab my Tombow. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on the end. It's really gummed up. I haven't used it for ages. So as you can see, I've left the top of it free. And I want to make sure that I can see my green foliage, so I don't want to stick it too far in. There we are. And I think I am going to work out exactly what I, what I want it to look like. So let's pop that one in. <laughs> this is where I fiddle faddle. That's a really technical word, isn't it? Where I yeah. <laughs> oh, picking up the gems. Do you know, Hazel, that's a really good idea. I always use the pointy end. Well, I'm going to be using some gems on this card. So watch me as I um, make a hash of doing that, but I will try it out. <laughs> right, so let's bring that through like that. So we've got that now. You know how notoriously when you use vellum and you put it on your card, you can see all the glue through it. Now I've got my design on the front, I can put the glue where the design is so you won't see it. So I know that I can put it on the bowl at the bottom. I know that I can put it on this one here on the thick parts of the design, to be fair. And I'm going to put my seal on there. Now, if you find, let's pop it on. There you go. If you find that, I mean, it's fine. It's laying quite flat. I need it up a bit, actually. 
But if you find that it curls up at the edges, a couple of glue dots won't go amiss. Or you can stick your gems and then behind your gems, you can put your glue dots to keep the vellum down. So that's like that. We can always put a bit of glue under there as well to stick it all down. Actually, I can see that glue. That was a bit of a mistake. A bit, just a little bit. And I have a glue rubber as well, but I'm just going to push it back so you can't see it. There you go. And it doesn't poke out and make anything sticky. That's not what you want, is it? I wonder if I can do that. No, I like it better that way. <laughs> there we go. Let's celebrate. And I'm going to put some of those gems on and I might put some... Um, um, twine. My words aren't working today. Linen thread. Love a bit of linen thread. Ooh. Oh, there's a bit already. Look, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> oh dear. How oh, funny. Picking up gems. Yes, so I'm going to have a go at that. So how do you make your bows? I make them in various ways. One of them is to do the bunny ear approach. If you're not actually tying it to anything. Which I find works well. I like a tiny bow. I'm not a big bow person, but I like a small one and I like it with the um, something that's a bit understated like the uh, linen thread. Oh, where's my glue dot? So not everything has made it out of my bag because I've had so many events on lately. I've been out a lot with my crafting stuff. Oh, I wonder if this would work. Mm, not so good with these old, uh, old, I say old, they're not old, with these um, glue dots from the kits. I'm gonna, oh, that's a prettier side. Is it? No. Right, let's put the glue on. Take the backing off. Leave the glue dot there. Don't know where those glue dots are because I have them packed everything actually. I've just put some stuff back in my bag that I always keep there for all my classes and they may have gotten back in there. So I've got a glue dot. And then, here's my gems. Oh, they, they're not brand new, although they look it. I've used one. <laughs> I love a new packet of gems. Am I the only one? Love it. Right, so we're going to try the spatula. The spatula one. This could, oh, well, no, I'm more or less sticking it to me. Put one there. No, I'm not very good at this, I'm afraid. Oh, nearly. <laughs> I think I'm missing the technique. It's sticking to the spatula. <laughs> oh, but it does work. But this is how I would normally do it. I normally use the pokey end. You just pick it up like that, and I would then stick it in there. I've got to decide where I want it to go. I like that. I think I might bring that one a bit further down there because then it's a bit more balanced. So let's celebrate. And then I think what I'm gonna do is, excuse my arm, I am going to bring this beautiful big stamp back. I've got a bit of scrappity paper here I'm gonna use. Keep my grid paper a little bit clean for two seconds. Um, and I'm gonna stamp inside and I'm gonna stamp that beautiful foliage. I don't even know what kind of leaf this is. just to mirror what we've got on the front in the same colour. So this is in the Calypso Coral. So I've got it coming off the side. And let's do the Let's Celebrate. And I did it in Pool Party, didn't I? Oh, the dog's actually asleep on my feet. 
I stand up because it means I can see through my camera. So when I'm live, I'm stood here and uh, he's on my feet and he's almost snoring. My crafty pooch. Let's celebrate. Yes. So that's our first card, but I do love the envelopes that come with this. Let's have a look, what have I done with them all? I'll put them out of the way. Aren't they beautiful? These envelopes with this design is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I've got the soft sea foam, which matches the envelopes, and then we've got the pool party inside. Let's celebrate, and you could put happy birthday inside, or congratulations, or whatever it is you like. And that is my first card, and I was kind of inspired by this one a little bit, but not really. I suppose if you took it as a sketch, you'd have it pretty much the same. You've got your rectangle in the middle, you've got your uh, sentiment across the on the horizontal a little bit, and then you've got foliage-ish. Loosely, eh? <laughs> Loosely. Now I don't have another card in my head, so we're going to make it up as we go along. This could be fun. I do have a thick basic white card base that I'd already had cut from another card. So I think we're going to use that one. Um, I think. Okay. And then I think we're going to take another layer of white, maybe. Yeah. Let's actually, no, let's go for a colour. Um, Let's go for, have I got any more soft sea foam? That's my soft sea foam one. This is definitely crafting on the go. <laughs> so I'm just going to go one layer size down and make it my regular layer size. So that's 14.3. by 10. Okay, so I think I'm going to grab out a different stamp. No, I haven't used this with this one. I'm still not sure if I'm going to, but we'll have a try and see what it looks like. fit on that one and this one will fit on this one let's try it out and see what it looks like on my spare piece of white and I'm going to stamp it in soft sea foam now they're not photopolymer. You can't see through these stamps. Okay, so I've got that like that, which is a stunning stamp. It's one of my favourite ones in this set. Hi, Brenton. Oh, thank you for joining me. How lovely to see you. How are you? Oh, oh, Shaz is here as well. Hello, Shaz. How are you? And so this is not meant to go on the top in any way that you can line it up if that makes sense. This is meant to be like an impression. That's how I see it anyway, because I can't see how this would actually line up that I can see. So I think you just, yeah, or you might even stamp off and do it. So that might be a good idea. So once you've already stamped off, you could, if I bring it, here like that and here and then you can kind of fill it in and it gives that impression almost like a watercolor so that's really pretty but I think what I'm going to do is just use the outline until I've played with that a bit more because I'm doing tone on tone and I don't want to make it too green okay so scrappy paper here we go and we are going to randomly stamp on here. To 
make a background. It's so pretty. Just alternate your image so that you can see that it looks random and not contrived, even though it kind of is. Like this. And then you need to decide which way up you want it. I might have mine that way up, which is funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's that one. That's our background. That's going to go on here like that. Oh, I think I need to fill this piece in. I have a gap that's glaring at me. Oh, didn't stamp that very well, but that's okay. I think it's okay. So that way, that way, I think it draws attention. I'll keep it this way. I think that's cool. All right, we're going to have that. Next, I need to check those dies out one more time. And we do, we are able to cut this image out. So let's grab this is that. lots of bits of card here. I'm going to stamp it on white now. <laughs> Having some fun with this today. See how that comes out if I die cut it. I'm not sure, so we're going to give it a go. the stamps in one place because in two minutes I'll say has anybody seen what I did with that stamp that's what I will say and you'll all be saying oh, God, it's just there it's just there <laughs> okay so I brought my mini boss back in And I'm going to cut out this one. There we go. Oh, here's a top tip for you guys. Right, when you are, um, let me move this up. When you're lining up these dies here with the, these dies go directly over the top. They're a very close fit to the image. So there's a little hole here. Can you see that little hole? If you line that bottom of the little hole up with the bottom of the stem, so you can see the green through it, and then you angle it right, you should have the image right. You should have the die exactly right. Well, this is my theory, and it seems to have worked thus far. My light is not that great, actually, though. Fingers crossed. Yes, uh, I need to open the blind, that would help. Here we go again. So we've got this one, which is very pretty. Okay. I think we are gonna use this one and Where's the other one? This one. This is a nice big one. And I think I'm going to... Do you remember that piece of vellum that I cut off the end? Oh, you've been told the same thing about that little dot in the dice. Brenton, that must mean we're right then. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. That must mean we're doing it right. I am going to use this big one and cut it out of vellum. I love adding a little bit of vellum in some of these projects. It makes it delicate, but it also adds a little bit more texture to it. 
You could also, um, instead of stamping the background tone on tone, you could just use an embossing folder. That would work as well. <laughs> so let's leave all of that. Take that out, put it in big. So much bits. And there's the piece. You can just about see it there. And then one more. And I'm going to do it in a, in a contrasting colour. So I think we've got to go for this uh, Calypso Coral because I've got it out. So Calypso Coral. And I could do a little one in Pool Party which would tie all the colours in together. I haven't used Pool Party in it yet, but there are a lot of dyes in this set. It's a great set. Grab a scrap. That's not Pool Party. Soft foam, mint macaron, all of the colours. Aha! I have it. Do you keep all your scraps together? I keep all my scraps together so that I can find them and I keep them in a Ziploc bag in a file so I can put a little scrap in there without going into a new um, sheet. Okay, I'm going to die cut these two little leaves out. don't think I need any washi tape. Let's just go for it. I'm expecting a UPS delivery any minute, so I can only apologise if somebody comes to the door. Um, if somebody goes to the door, um, the dog will bark because he's like, what are you doing on my in my garden <laughs> type thing? Right, there we go. Mini boss, pop that away. Yes, let's see how we, what we've got going on. We've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one. Oh, oh, that one's already here, and those two, that's right. Good. Oh, do you use more, yours more than anything? Do you know what, Shaz? I'm getting to be the same because it's on my desk, and I don't really have to reach behind me for it or move very far. It's so useful. I'm starting to use it more than my big one. I use the big one for the big embossing folders, but lots of our little, smaller, thin embossing folders go in it, and they're quite nice. All right, all the little bits need to come out of my leaf. It's confetti. There we go. Straight in the bin. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this one to go on here. Now I'm thinking about some vellum to go over the top, but it may just not need it. Oh, oh, I think I just lost charge on my laptop. I might just plug that in in a second because I can't see your comments. For some reason, they're not coming up on my phone camera. Right, let's plug that one in and I can chat to you guys. I can hang out with you. Right, a little bit of vellum is going to come along here, I think. And I'm going to use the same, shall I use the same, shall I have this design peeping out like I did with the last one? I might do. I think I will. I can't remember. What measurement did I say it was, guys? I think it was eight and a half by 11. So let's go for that. Love a bit of vellum. And we don't use it enough, do we? Well, I don't know about you, but I kind of go in runs of using things. There we 
go. Is it 11 or 11 and a half? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, that's quite nice. Whatever that is, eight and a half by 11 and a half. Just a bit bigger. Right then. Can I sponge vellum? Can I use my blending brush on vellum? Do you know? Now, all my blending brushes I just washed out and they are on my sink. So I'm not going to run off and get those. I don't think I bought them in. I've got an old one. This is an old one, it's not a Stampin' Up! one, it's one that I had before you could get them. In fact, I think it's just an old makeup brush and it's not great, but it might just do what I want it to do. So I think I'm going to put some pool party... No, I've never tried it either, Shaz, but we're going to try it now. <laughs> I'm going to use it with a pool party ink. I don't see any reason why not either. Let's experiment together. So take a little bit of the ink off so it doesn't saturate it too much oh my goodness it works the only concern i have <laughs> is that uh, i might end up very inky does it dry properly on the vellum can you see how well that's that's colored that we'll try it and see how inky you get i imagine after a time it'll just dry you could use your heat gun on it I'm hoping it wouldn't just slide about and stay wet. No, it doesn't seem to be coming off on me. Ooh. I like this. I'm getting quite a pretty pattern behind it as well. Okay, let's go for that and see. You can see that it's kind of, it's not white anymore. There you go, it's not white anymore. And then when I put, does it make a difference when I put it on here is the question. Oh yeah, I think it absolutely does actually make a difference. What would have been nice is a pool party border. Right, I'm going a bit mad now. Here we go. Not crystal banner. Four party, that will do. So here we go. Trimmer. Let's cut this down to my normal layer size, which is ten. by 14.3 which is the same size as the other one so I'm gonna to have to cut that one slightly oh that was almost the right size that was um yeah it was and then the one that I stamped will make that one 9.5 so just take it down by half a centimeter for the layer by 13.8 There we are. And that should leave me a nice tiny little pop of pool party behind these two. And I want to glue it together, keep it together. Using my favorite adhesive because I don't make too much of a mess. There we go. It's on there. I'm gonna stick that one on the front. Do you know what? I don't think I've put them next to each other before in a layer, pool party and soft sea foam, and I really like it. 
It's funny what you find out when you experiment. I cut that one right close to the edge. Have a nice border. Like that. And then we're going to put our layers together and see what we come up with. I know this is slightly bluer, this background. I can see my vellum shape there like that. So I'm going to have it like this, like that. I think I'm going to tuck this one in the back and then pop this one behind it. And I think I'm just going to glue this one down with my snail at the bottom just to anchor it so I know where I'm at. And then I'm probably going to put some more snail, but I think I'll do it. I haven't got my silicon mat out at the minute, so I think I'll just do it on a piece of scrap paper so I don't get glue everywhere, because you know I will. There we are. But the silicon mat is the best thing. Let's stick that behind. Ooh, sticking to me now. Glue. Right, stay still. Does anyone else talk to their cards? Glue that down. Nice. Okay, and then I think this is going to tuck behind. So I think this is where the Tombow is going to come in. <laughs> I have glue stuck to my hand. Thank you for joining me live, you lovely people. Thank you so much. Here we go. Pop that one behind. So the Splendid Day Suite is in the brand new July to December catalogue. Um, if you haven't got one and you don't have a demonstrator, do let me know, get in contact, and I'll be happy to send you a copy in the post if you're in the UK. Um, do let me know if you'd like one. If you want to shop online with me, it's kakebolt.stampinup.net and you can find everything I've used in my projects in my online shop there too. Yeah. Oh, and you can find lots of inspiration over on my website, which is inkstampshare.ink. I-N-K. So you can find all the things over there if you're interested in them. Right, what we're going to do now is put something on on the front we're going to put sentiment on and i think i'm going to put sending hugs because i put let's celebrate so i think this one will fit nicely and i'm going to put it in the pool party to echo the background mint so here it is it's hiding That on here yeah lots of inspiration over on my website on my blog you can find what else is there to tell you guys about the joining offer and celebration obviously if you don't know about that and you're watching me live or on replay it's a promotion we've got running through this month which is july if you're watching now july through august and for every 45 pounds you spend you get free products in my online shop in celebration, so don't miss out on that. I can't find the other die. <laughs> it's what I'm looking for. See, I told you I'd lose it as soon as I put it down. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. There it is. Don't panic. Don't panic. It was there all the time. So this little bowl the sending hug, hugs fits around it perfectly. Love it. Yes. Oh, and uh, the other thing is don't forget to use the host code for the month if you order from me. So I can send you a thank you card and a gift for ordering from me too. 
You can find that on my website because it changes monthly. So you'll find that at inkstampshare.ink. Right, let's pop this through the mini box again. Right, here we go. Here we go. Now, I come live for Coffee and Cards on YouTube at one o'clock on a Tuesday and at 11 a.m. on a Friday. However, this Friday I won't be live because I'm picking my lovely daughter and her partner up from the airport. They've been on a lovely holiday, aren't they lucky? So I will be pre-recording a video instead. So I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. If you fancy some crafty inspiration, do head back on over and there will be a pre-recorded video for you to see um, with some goodies from our catalogue. Um, but yeah, but then I'll be live again next Tuesday as I am today, sending hugs. How cute is that? I'm gonna put some dimensional foam pads um, under there if I can find those. Everything tipped out of my, out of my um, little, I have a little adhesive pouch I keep all my adhesives in and it all popped out, there we are. So put this one on here. Now, what about stamping on vellum, guys? How long does that take to dry? How long do you think it takes to dry? Because I'd like to stamp on some of the vellum, but I'm going to try it out first very quickly. Thank you, Linda. Oh, you're so lovely. I didn't know you were here. I'm so pleased you're watching. Thank you. That's really kind. So, I'm going to put the bee on, because I can't resist this little guy. He's adorable. And I'm going to see what he looks like if I stamp him on a bit of vellum. He's very wet, and I think he's going to take an hour or two to dry so that I don't just put my hand in and smudge him along. But I think when I have put this on here, I am going to add a bee. I am going to add a bee, if my words will work. So... You can see again on the back where all the foliage is and that's where I'm going to put my adhesive. So I'm going to use my stamping seal because it's my favourite. Oh, the joining offer. I haven't talked about that. If any of you are interested in joining my lovely team, I can just about see that adhesive there, um, during celebration, we have an amazing offer. And I made a video about it yesterday on here on my YouTube channel. So do check that out. You get the most gorgeous free planner in with your starter kit. It is absolutely stunning. Um, and it's free. And it's a whole kit. You get a stamp set, you get notebooks, you get the planner itself, you get the planner contents, and it's 18 months. It's really, really lovely. So yeah, I would uh I would check that out and see if it's your thing. So inside, I'm going to put, ooh, what am I going to put? Am I going to put sending hugs again? Yeah, I'm just going to put sending hugs inside. In, in, in this. Yeah, I'm going to clean my stamp. No, I'm going to not. I'm going to do it. What colour did I stab it in? Is it in pool party? Let's do it in pool party. any hugs and then you see I can pop the bee here I can pop him here like that bit of something there that's it and then this one I'll just get my stamp cleaner the bee is gorgeous. Hey, Anthony, you're joining me as well. Thank you. Anthony sent me the most beautiful card through the post. I was absolutely delighted. It was so unexpected to get happy mail like that. Handmade happy mail. It was so unexpected. Uh, using the sun print stamp set. I popped it on my Instagram. Do pop over there and have a look at it. It's really, really pretty. Thank you, Anthony. It was so nice. 
so lovely to get. So I am, because we've got this one on the front, I'm just going to stamp it here on the inside. So we've got all the colours going on on the inside. And then we've got it all going on on the front. And I have almost done. So I have left a little bit of room for the bee, just by chance. That was not calculated, just a bit of luck. So... I am going to finish off because we're coming to the end. I've been on an hour. I'm going to finish off with popping a bee on here and hoping it dries. And I'm going to pop some, um, wish me luck that I don't mess the card up, guys. And I'm going to pop some little gems on there too. There's one. And I think I'll pop one looking a bit jaunty. Should I pop another one? Shall I leave it with one on? No, it does look a bit odd with one. I think we're going to go with another one there. And maybe we're going to go a bit mad now. So if I grab a bit of scrap paper, here's a tip for you. If you want to adjust something on your card and you've already glued it all down, pop um, a piece of cardstock under your layer like this. And then you can kind of half stamp it on. And you, you haven't got it on this piece. There you go. It's a little quick tip. So you've got some bees. And then I'm coming in with the gems and we're done. We are done. I just need to balance this out a bit, I think. So one of those. And I've got to be careful not to touch this bee because they are wet. And I'm going to leave them for a bit to um, dry. Up here. Somewhere up there. There. There we go. I might move that one. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> two millimeters to the right <laughs> and we're happy okay so i'm gonna let that dry thank you for watching me live guys i really appreciate it you have no idea how grateful i am so today i've used the new celebration note cards and envelopes with the splendid day suite to create a bit of a ad hoc impromptu card off the top of my head so thank you everybody oh thank you Inika. i didn't know you were there either aren't you all so lovely to join me today thank you and they just popped out of my head these cards so i hope you like them do leave me a comment down below if you're watching on replay let me know you're watching from the future and tell me what your favorite color is out of these cards um which colors are your favorite out of the colors i've used on the cards is it soft sea foam pool party or calypso coral and uh Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to check out that joining offer. Um, join my lovely team or shop with me. And I'll put all the links in the description box down below. Um, and I'll see you next time. Oh, Anthony, you're too kind. Thanks, darling. Thanks, everybody. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.